Hey guys, welcome in our studio in Amaloid. My name is Frank Doroff and the last few days I've been posting a lot about the new iPad Pro. Now, what I'm holding in my hand is what a lot of people want to hold in their hands. It's the Apple Pencil. And one thing that really blew my mind was I could just walk into a store and buy an iPad Pro, 128 gig, Wi-Fi, LTA. They had it all on stock, but not the Apple Pencil. Now, for me, the main reason to buy the iPad Pro was the Apple Pencil. I don't need a bigger iPad Pro to play Candy Crush. I want to play with, well, sketching, uh, retouching, and I needed that Apple Pencil. So I didn't know why Apple didn't deliver it at the same time. Now, let's talk about the Apple Pencil a little bit. It's, well, it's nice. So what, what more can you tell about an Pencil? Well, the back... It's really nice. You can uh, charge it in 15 seconds for half an hour of use. That's pretty cool on your iPad Pro. Uh, it's magnetic. <laughs> Another cool thing is if you lay it on the table, it will always end up with Apple Pencil on top. So it's a pretty cool device. But do you buy it to be the guy with a really cool device? No, of course not. You buy it to do something with. And for me, I'm a creative artist. I love photography and I love to draw. And I have to be honest, I can draw really well, but somehow playing around with drawing is just pretty cool. So that's why I bought this one. Now, one of the things that a lot of guys ask me, can you show us how you retouch in Photoshop with an iPad Pro? Because, well, online I already told you guys, there's something called AstroPad. Now, I'm able to test AstroPad today for the first time because the Apple Pencil got in, and I have to tell you, I'm blown away. Now, one thing, I never used a Cintiq. Well, I did use a Cintiq with some friends of mine who owned the Cintiq and I liked it, but I always thought they were a little bit bulky and somehow I, it just didn't work for me. Now I have to be honest, I still have to get used to this whole setup, so I'm still a little bit testing everything out, but up until now I absolutely love it. So let's take a look at AstroPad. Now we will be recording this in two segments, so it will look a little bit weird because I don't want to record my iPad screen at the moment. For the very simple reason, I'm connected via Lightning to my Mac Pro. And well, if I also record my screen, I'm afraid there will be a little bit of lag. So. The recording will be later, so some things you will see me telling you about and you will see that the images are a little bit different in the video because we're going to edit them in. So the first thing you will have to do is on your screen, make sure that you make it a little bit less wide because then it fits the screen of the iPad Pro perfectly. Also one of the things in um, AstroPad is you actually have this little round circle. Now as soon as you press this, you will see a menu and you will choose between finger or stylus, but you can also change your brush size, your eraser, your brush undo, redo, zoom in. It's pretty nice what you can do with it. So, now how do you retouch? Very simple, you do exactly the same as you do with normal Wacom tablets. You can just go to your brush and you can paint. Now, of course, you don't want to paint, so you have to redo and undo this. So let's do undo and let's do some serious stuff. Okay, now the first thing I always do is I will zoom in on my model. Now, as you can see, I'm just using the same way that you normally zoom in on a picture on an iPhone or iPad. You just zoom in. What you can also do, of course, is go to your menu and just go to view 100%. That also works. Now, the only thing is normally you're used to pressing the space bar and dragging around your image. But let's say you don't have keyboard close by. You just use two fingers and you drag around. So that goes pretty well. Now, as you can see, there are some little details here in our skin I want to remove. So I'm going to go to my clone, uh, sorry, to my um, healing brush. And now I have to sample somewhere, right? So you can use your keyboard, of course, and sample here and start retouching. But then you still need your keyboard. So in AstroPad, they also mimicked the keys. So I can now press the Alt key, sample, and start retouching. Alt key, sample, retouch. Old key, sample, retouch. Just the same way you normally do on a normal keyboard. So this is pretty nice. And as you can see, it doesn't lag. It's, it works pretty fast and very, very cool. So I really love this. Okay, so let's do the skin. Now for the skin, I always use an action and the action is based on image normal portraiture. So let's see how that looks. You just go to your actions. You go to my portrait smooth action and I just press play. 
Now what it does, it will start up image genomic portraiture and it will also give me a layer. And on that layer, I can of course paint the effect in. So now I already have the layer here. I will go to my brush. I will switch it to white paint and I will start painting the effect in. Now as you can see here it lags a little bit, but that's okay. We can change the opacity to 100%. Of course now I have to change my brush size. Press on the menu and do the brush size minus and minus up until I see what I like. There we go. And you can leave the menu in there if you like that or you can take the menu out by just pressing the, the round circle. Of course all circles are round. There we go and again two fingers. We'll slide it over and we'll do the effect here. As you can see it's a really natural way of retouching. It doesn't feel like you're retouching on glass. That's the thing that I also, also noticed in Procreate and Adobe Sketch. It really feels nice to have this little tactical tip on the pencil. It really makes retouching really nice. And there we go. And you don't have to retouch like this. Some people, especially with older tablets, you saw people retouching like this and well, that will be terrible. You can just lay your hand down and it has perfect palm rejection. So this works pretty cool. Okay, let's look at my image. Ah, almost forgot her legs. So do some retouching there. There we go. And of course down here. And I'm very sloppy now. I just want to show you guys how it works. Okay, let's go to view fit on screen. There we go. Pretty cool. So now my workflow is always I will layer my uh, I will um, merge my layers. So I will first remove this and I'll do flat an image. There we go. Now of course you want to run your filters. Now that's also possible because I'm actually mirroring my screen. So now I will just go to a new layer. I will just drag here to duplicate my layer. Perfect. And I will run my filter of choice. In this case make fun. Intensify. Absolutely love Intensify for make fun. It really gives your image that pop. Now you have to remember the first time you run your plugins it will probably default to full screen because that's how you normally use it as you can see here. Now if you want to see it on your iPad Pro in AstroPad, you of course have to make that a little bit smaller. But you only have to do that once because the next time it will start up it will actually show you it the way that it's supposed to be on your AstroPad. So let's say I like Poppy Drama 3 and press apply to apply the filter. As you can see you're just working the same way as you do in your normal monitor but you now have your iPad Pro. Now some of you guys would go like but Frank how is the color? The color is okay but I'm using a BenQ monitor, an Adobe RGB monitor which has great colors and now when I compare her red dress to the red dress on my iPad it's a huge difference. So I wouldn't use it for professional color grading. But to retouch it's really cool, especially if you want to zoom in on the face and you want to take out these little edges. You can zoom in to 400%, everything in between. And somehow, I'm only using it since today in this matter, but the zooming in and retouching of the face is so incredibly much better than you do on your normal Wacom. And trust me, I'm very experienced with Wacom tablets. Look at my tablet, it looks like almost a mirror. You see this? I always have my second screen here and this is where I retouch. So it's shiny. So I've used this a lot and even after one day of use I'm already totally used to using this for retouching. So very quickly and then I will leave you guys. Uh, let's do again here a layer mask. So layer mask, reveal all because I want to show everything and I want to show you how easy you can dive in. So let's take the brush with black paint in this case, zoom in on the model. You see how easy this goes? You zoom, zoom in on your model and normally in Photoshop you would go to your menu, view 100% or use keystrokes. This is so much easier. So I take my brush on 100% and I'm just going to paint the effect out of her face. And the control is just amazing. It really feels nice while retouching. Uh, overall, I, I can only say one thing. I, if you have a Cintiq, just try it out. Um, again, I don't own a Cintiq, I just tried it a few times. But AstroPad on the iPad Pro, for me, it opens up total new possibilities. For example, in a hotel, if you want to retouch, you just open up your laptop, 
you just leave it somewhere. They deliver a two meter cable with the iPad Pro. So you can just retouch while sitting on the bed, really relaxed, and you don't have to have your Wacom tablet somewhere and your laptop and reach over for the keyboard. So overall, I'm very, very impressed with the Apple Pencil and of course AstroPad. So check it out on the Apple Store. A AstroPad is available there and I believe it's $90.95. So for $90.95, you add some Cintiq options to your iPad Pro. So thank you very much for watching guys and see you next time. And I'm going to retouch on my new iPad Pro hybrid, Cintiq alternative, whatever, but, but it's really cool. So see you again. Thanks guys.